friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited for our video. We are testing out the new e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo CC Cream. I am pumped. As soon as I saw this release on Trend Mood 1, I was like, yep, mm, definitely interested. I love e.l.f. Cosmetics. I had for years now and I love their camo concealer, the original one. It is so stinking good. Full coverage, wears well, love it. I have three shades, well, I have two shades now. I used up one of them and I need to repurchase it and I just haven't yet, but I have used three shades in the past and it is such a good concealer. So when I saw that they were coming out with a camo CC cream, I was pumped. So I went ahead and bought it on their website. Actually, this shipped to me very, very quickly. I think I bought it on Thursday and then I it arrived to me on Saturday. So it shipped super quickly. That was really exciting also. So yeah, we are testing this out today and I'm gonna do something I haven't done on my channel before and I'm gonna do a wear test for you guys. I haven't done that before. I still have my coffee here because I never film this early, but if you can see it is 10.03. This is my husband's phone since I film on mine. I have his phone to help me out, but it is 10.03. So I just, I never film this early in the morning during the weekdays for work. I just wake up at like the last possible second because I love sleep. So I just, I wake up as late as I can and then get ready super, super quick. And I just feel rushed like all five days of the week. So on the weekends, I like to just get up relax, drink my coffee with my cat, just like not rush around, you know what I mean? So I never film this early. I usually film around like noon or one, but it is 10. We are bright eyed and bushy tailed. Not that that's like super early, but I have my coffee and yeah, we're gonna do a wear test today. So if you are excited and you wanna see my first impressions on the e.l.f. camo CC cream, and then also a wear test, then let's go ahead and get started. Before I get started, I figured I would just kind of tell you about the product first. It comes in this packaging. Mine like got destroyed, but it comes in this cool like holographic packaging. I think that's really, really cute. It comes in this nice tube with a pump, which I love that it has a pump on it. I can like see through the product and it starts right here. So this is all like air up here, but it starts like right here. So that's like a pretty fair amount of product. You get... 1.05 ounces, so that's about normal to a foundation. I will say, I'm a little confused on why e.l.f. went the CC cream route because their camo concealer is so full coverage. I'm wondering why they didn't just market this as like a full coverage foundation and not a CC cream, you know what I mean? Just because that's what their camo concealer is known for. Anyways, I went ahead and screenshot a bunch of the information. So let me go ahead and read that for you. It says it's a medium to full coverage color correcting foundation with SPF 30 protection. So they say color correcting foundation there, but then they call it a CC cream on the packaging. So I don't know, that's just a little confusing to me. Medium to full coverage foundation with a natural finish, formulated with SPF 30 to protect against sun damage. I love that it has SPF 30 in it. Multitasking foundation that provides skincare benefits. Ooh. Infused with hydrating and youth boosting ingredients known to improve skin texture and tone. Our shade match guarantees allows you to buy with confidence. The key ingredients are collagen known to improve skin elasticity with a, it's 100% vegan. Hyaluronic acid helps provide hydration by locking in moisture, resulting in a plumped up, bouncy complexion. Ooh, bouncy. Mm -mm. And then niacinamide to help brighten and even out skin tone. Also peptides for a more refreshed complexion. It retails for $14 and it comes in 20 shades. So yeah, I am excited. I did pump this out on the back of my hand last night when I got it in the mail just to see if the shade would work for me. And I think it does. I got the shade Fair 120N. It's the lightest shade that it comes in, <laughs> but I think it'll be a decent shade match for me, which I was really, really excited about. It looks, I don't know, in the tube, it looks like it might be a little yellow, and on my hand, it looked a little yellow, but I think we'll be able to make it work. I am gonna go ahead and apply it with my sponge and not a brush. I know a lot of people who do like foundation reviews and wear tests and all that do half their face with a sponge and half their face with a brush, but I never, ever, ever apply anything with a brush. Like, <laughs> never. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a sponge. I'm sure a lot of other people will be reviewing this CC cream. So if you wanna see it applied with a brush, I'm sure lots of other people will do that for you. But I'm just gonna use a sponge for today. So I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know how much you're gonna need. It says full coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump out one pump on the back of my hand and see how far that gets me. I don't think there's a scent. I smell like a very faint makeup -y kind of fresh scent, but it's not, it's not like very prevalent at all. So I'm just gonna dot this all over my face. Ooh, it seems very thick. Go ahead, pat this in. Oh yeah, that's a good shade match. Ooh, 
okay, that definitely has coverage. Let's see what it does on my little zip right here. I didn't use any primer. Well, <laughs> I was go I was planning on using primer. I also know a lot of people don't use primer when they're doing foundation reviews. Um, just because they want to see how the foundation just looks on its own. I was planning on using primer, but I guess I'm gonna know because I completely forgot. I was just so excited to try this out. I just started putting it on my face. So, all right, no primer today, which I, I am a person that I always use primer. Um, I never skip that stuff. I know some people kind of think primers are maybe a little unnecessary. They don't do much for their skin, but I almost always use a primer, but that's okay. We just won't use one today, not a big deal. Okay, so it's blending in really nice and easy. It does have some coverage on it. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Whenever I hear CC cream, I don't think of coverage, even though it's marketed as like a full coverage, you know, product, but I'm really liking this. And one pump is getting me very far. I am really liking this so far. I think I am going to add half of a pump more. This is with one pump. It covered up quite a bit, but I think I'm gonna add like half a more pump, like half. And I'm just gonna add it just like a little bit more. I, you know, you know, I like really full coverage. Just like see how it builds up. All right, I got that all blended out. I did put a tiny bit that was left on my sponge on my eyelids and like below my eyes and stuff. I am still gonna put concealer on, but this is what it looks like with one and a half pumps on my skin. I'm impressed, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I am really, really liking this. I'm really impressed by how it's not looking dry on my skin and I didn't put a hydrating primer on under it. I think, I'm not gonna lie, I think it would look better if I had put a hydrating primer underneath it. Like the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Primer or the Smashbox Primerizer. I think something like that would help because it it's not that it's looking dry per se. Like I don't see any really flaking. I see a tiny bit on my forehead and on my nose. But again, I didn't put a primer on. I think, I really think that that would help. It blended in in two seconds. Like it... I didn't have to like sit there and blend for a really long time. It didn't dry too quickly to where I felt like I had to rush to blend it in. It's very nice coverage. I mean, you can still see a tiny bit of like the redness popping through, the zit, some of these over here, but nothing terrible. Like I feel like this is what my other normal full coverage foundations look like. It does have a pretty natural finish to the skin. There is a little bit of a sheen and luminosity to it, but nothing like crazy oily or anything like that. I am really impressed by this. I am loving this upon first impressions and I am pumped. I have high hopes that it's gonna wear well throughout the day. This isn't gonna be like some crazy wear test. Like I have no plans for today, none. So it's not gonna be like elf camo CC cream tested through a rainstorm with a mask on, working out, running errands. Like I, I have no plans for today except hang out at home with my husband and my cat. So it's not gonna be like the best wear test. Okay, so it's 1017. I've been jibber jabbing for a few minutes. So I'm gonna say the check-in time is 1015. We'll do that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. I'm just gonna do a really simple makeup look cause it's not about that. I am gonna put concealer. Oh, should I put powder on? I am. I think I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and treat this like I would any other foundation that I'm wearing. So I typically would have put a primer on, I forgot, but that's okay. But I am gonna put like concealer, powder, a setting spray, all of the above. I'm gonna speed it up and just show me applying everything and then I'll come back on and tell you the products that I use afterwards, okay?
went ahead and did everything but mascara because we also have a new e.l.f. mascara to test out. It is their Lash Out Loud Volumizing Mascara and I just got the little mini. It's in the black shade. I don't remember if it came in any other shades. I think this mini was $4 or $6 and they also have a full size but I just wanted to try it out. It says volume that hits all the high notes. This formula's intense, intensely rich pigments easily coats lash for a bigger and bolder look. The sleek flexible wand hugs every single lash with both vertical and horizontal brushes to amplify, define, and add dimension. So we're going to test this sucker out. I have never tried an e.l.f. mascara before. I did a almost full face of e.l.f. a couple months back and one of the things I didn't have was a mascara and I said in that video I've just never heard someone really like rave about e.l.f. mascaras and yeah, so this is a brand new one. I thought we would give it a try today. Let's check out the wand. Oh yeah, okay, it's got like this spiky type of wand that I enjoy. All right, so far so good. I will say this is a very spiky wand. Like if you can tell, they have like shorter ones and longer ones and I feel like the longer ones are very spiky like i can feel them normally with these type of wands i can't really like feel them on my like eyes if that makes sense but i can definitely feel these and it's not it's not that it hurts it's just like a little annoying a little uncomfortable but all right okay so far so good let me go do the other eye and i'll be right back okay i think i like this i'll have to wait and see how it wears throughout the day but it's making my lashes look long and full and not really thicker but definitely longer and like curled um and it's a little clumpy. I don't know if you can tell, especially on this eye, it's a little clumpy, but we're just gonna wait and see how it wears. But the rest of the makeup, I went ahead and used my e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade Fair Rose. I set everything with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. I will say adding the powder definitely made it look and feel more dry. Obviously it's a powder, but again, I think that's where a hydrating primer would have came in clutch, but I forgot. How many times can I say that? You guys know you've been watching up to this point. You know I forgot it. But anyways, um, it does. It is definitely looking a little dry on my forehead and my nose still. That is okay for a bronzer and blush. I use my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo for my eyebrows. I use my Ilia Essential Brow Gel for blush and eyeshadow and lipstick. I actually got some products sent to me by a brand called Nude Envy. So I use their blush. It is in the shade Enamor. Their eyeshadow in the shade Dreamy. I'm not totally in love with the eyeshadow, but that's all right. And then their lipstick, and it is in the shade Lips. And my setting spray was my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So yeah, that was all of my makeup. It is now 10.35. Again, I'm gonna call the check-in time around 10.15. Let me pick you guys up, take you to the windows over there, and I'll show you what this looks like in natural light. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold this as still as I can, but this is what it is looking like in natural light. So far, I'm really impressed, other than it looking a little bit dry on my nose and my forehead, which, you know, I talked about. I'm impressed, I really like the coverage, I really like how it is looking. So yeah, I will see you guys in a couple hours for a check-in to see how it's doing. All right, so I am here for my first check-in, I guess. It is about 3.15ish, so it's been about five hours. I plan on doing this one, and then I'll do another one probably around eight or nine and do about a eight, nine hour wear test for you guys. So it is looking um, pretty good so far. This isn't the best lighting. I'm sorry, it's really gray outside today here in Ohio, and I just, I don't have the best lighting. I'm sorry, but it's looking pretty good. It is looking pretty cakey around my nose, if you can see that on both sides. And it's pretty oily on my chin and it's starting to break up a little bit on my chin. So that is honestly pretty normal. My chin is my uh, struggle spot on my skin, not going to lie, but everywhere else it's looking pretty good. It's not looking too oily on my forehead or anything. And yeah, I am, I'm liking it. It doesn't look the best right here, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. So I will see you guys a little bit later for my final check-in at the end of the night. All right, friends, I am back for my final check-in for the night. I'm sorry, I feel like this lighting looks a little wonky and I don't know if it's because like it's too bright or like my eyes just haven't adjusted to the lights. I don't know. I, I hope it's okay on 
for you guys, but it is 712 if you can see. So I have had this on for about nine hours now. I was going to try to do a longer wear test for you guys, but A, I feel like it's not going to change much in the next couple of hours, and B, yo girl is tired. All I want to do is wash this makeup off, take a shower, get my comfy, cozy pajamas, and prepare myself for this next week of work because it's our last week before Christmas break before I have two weeks off of work. So, sorry I didn't do a longer wear test, but I feel like nine hours is a pretty good, you know, wear test to see how it wore on my skin. I think I really like it, I do. First, the mascara really quickly, it wore really nicely throughout the day. I think it held my curl nicely. I have a little tiny bit of transfer here. Don't mind my um, <laughs> concealer just creasing on my under eyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was nice. As far as the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, okay, I like it. All the areas that I normally have issues in, I'm having issues with right now, if that makes sense. So the bunching on my nose just kind of got like worse throughout the day, if you can tell here. And then on my chin, it's like breaking up. So it's like oily here on my forehead. So my T-zone, which is where I normally have issues, you know, I'm having issues in, but that makes sense. I think the coverage held really nicely throughout the day it didn't really seem to fade off anywhere except for my chin which like literally that is always my trouble spot but yeah for the most part i think i really really enjoy this and for 14 dollars, i feel like you can't go wrong i definitely am going to keep testing it out but upon first impressions and trying it for the last nine hours i like it so far so let me know what you guys think I mean, yeah, it's looking kind of rough, but it has been a long time. Yeah, I think I really do enjoy this. I am glad I picked it up. I would recommend it to you guys. If you have dry skin, I think you would like it. And if you have oily skin, I would just maybe be careful and powder it. You may have to like touch up and blot throughout the day, but I think this is good. I think it has great coverage and I'm really impressed with how it wore throughout the day. So this is a win in my eyes. So that was it you guys. That was my first impressions and full day wear test of the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was my first wear test. I don't know how often I will be able to do them for you, but I had fun doing this today for you guys. Don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you were watching, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!